Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video from virtualroof.com. The purpose of today's video is to show you how you can use an iPad to access the server in our data center facility or the servers in our data center facility and run Windows based applications from the iPad. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to tap on this V workspace icon in the center of the screen. So I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. And we're just going to single tap that and that's going to open up another window for us and we're just going to tap on our desktop icon there and that's going to launch a Windows desktop that's going to be again hosted in our data center facility and on this desktop you're going to see Windows based applications we host over 320 different software applications so chances are whatever software applications you're using now that you'd like to have hosted we can host for you and then you would be able to have access to those applications regardless of whether you're logging in from a PC from a Mac from a Linux machine or from an iPad in an airplane 30,000 feet in the sky. Um, we also host your data for you so you have space on the server um, for hosting or for um, storing your data and that data can be shared among the employees within the company and you also have private space on the server for that data as well. And again, um, these are full-blown Windows-based applications and they operate just exactly the same way they would if you were running them from your local machine on your local uh, computer. So here we have it. We're logged in. And I'm going to zoom in on this again here a little bit so you can see some of these icons that we have here. And we'll see if we can get this camera to focus back again. Sorry about that. And there you can see is uh, there's Word and PowerPoint and Outlook and Microsoft Excel, Act, there's Microsoft Access, there's a file folder, and then there's My Computer. So as you can see, this is a full-blown Windows desktop, and we're accessing it from the iPad. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to launch Act, and all we have to do is double tap the icon for ACT and there we have ACT. Go ahead and tap OK to log in. And as you can see that loaded up very quickly. Now again this is the full-blown version of ACT Premium 2011. We host We've been hosting ACT in this environment for over nine years, all the way from ACT 4.0 through ACT 2011. So if we go in here, I'm going to activate this little mouse. And just to show you that this is the full desktop version, I'm going to go to the Tools pull-down menu and go to Define Fields. And the reason I went there is because this is something you cannot do in ACT for Web. So if I zoom in on this a little bit, you can see where we are. And this is where you can create new fields, edit existing fields, delete fields, um, change the names of fields, change the type of data that's in a field. You can even change the security level and access of fields on a per user basis. And those are all kinds of things that you would want to do to customize the database to fit your, speci your company's specific needs. And you can't do any of those things if you're using Act for Web. So again, we're hosting the full desktop version, and that's a huge advantage to you to be able to do those types of things. So we're going to close out of this. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through some of these records so that you can see how fast it moves. And so I'm just going to take my little mouse and I'm going to go up and I'm going to start tapping on it. And you can see as fast as I'm tapping, it's moving through the records. Just as if I was sitting at my desk. So anything that I can do at my desk, I can do from an iPad, sitting in the front seat of my car, at a doctor's office or on an airplane as I said before. To further demonstrate that I'm going to switch over to my personal screen 
And as you can see, this is a customized database that has our logo on it. And we also have some additional fields in this database. If you look here, we've got a custom field. It's a memo field for tracking what types of software a customer has that they might need to have hosted. Um, and we've got some fields where we change the labels so we can indicate that those are required fields. Those are very important fields for us to track. <coughs> One of the other things, again, since this is the full-blown version, is that I can use Act Marketing or what some folks know as Swift Page Email. And you can see that there. And if I zoom in on that, you can see that's what I have. And I'm just going to go over and tap on eMarketing. And there you have it. That's And so right from here, I can send an email blast out to a, a thousand folks if I wanted to, 500 folks, whatever. And again, I can do that from anywhere, from the front seat of my car, if I'm sitting in a doctor's office waiting for an appointment, whatever, I can log in and I can do that. I can edit my templates, I can go into the surveys, and I can dump new contacts that have filled out surveys right into my ACT database and do those types of things. So I wanted to also show you that um, on this particular uh, desktop, we also have QuickBooks hosted here. This happens to be QuickBooks Pro 2011. We also host Premier as well as Enterprise. And this is the full-blown desktop version of QuickBooks. And so I can send invoices from here. I can um, send quotes from here. I can do whatever I want to do in QuickBooks. I can do from anywhere in the world as long as I've got an internet connection. So if we go down, one more thing I wanted to show you was the um, Outlook. And again, this is a full desktop version of Outlook. And right over on the top right of the screen, you'll see the Act icons there. And again, they're there because this is the desktop version of QuickBooks. I'm sorry, the desktop version of Outlook and the desktop version of Act. So that pretty much does it. Um, hopefully this was informative for you. If you have any questions or need further information, you can go to our website, which is virtualroof.com. And you can also uh, call us at 407-965-0655. Or you can send us an email at info at virtualroof.com. We also have multiple other videos up on YouTube. If you just do a search for virtualroof.com, you can see some of those and get some more information. Thanks again for watching.